why Zeus get the fix? What's going on? Calm down, such a fuss. We're waiting for Batamix. I'm afraid he's late, as usual. He's here. Please forgive my tardiness, my friend. I left the ring on under a cold one. How are you? Right the sunlight, but we'll be even righter when get the... Shh! Uh, I will come to the point. You all know of Caesar's plans to conquer the Gaulish village. <clears throat> uh, my village. Not news, huh? Well, I believe... He's a druid's whisker away from succeeding! By Zeus! By Belanus! By Odin! Bye-bye. Oh, what waffle you get, I think? Thanks to your potions that give superhuman strength to your warriors, your village needn't fear the Romans. To overcome your village, Caesar would need to give his legions a power even more greater than yours. And I don't know of anybody who could harness such a great power. Except us, of course. Precisely. Bravo! Encore! It's your room, as we say in Rome. <laughs> Marvelous, dear fellow. A fine brace of druids. They are yours, noble Caesar. Make good use of them. Count on me, Getterfix. Take them away! Like that. My name is Sam Schiffer Gaul, and I should know a traitor when I see one. I'm a traitor myself. Traitor to Rome. I'll not betray treachery till treason has reason of Caesar. Pretty, but I didn't understand a word of what he said, Asterix. So you have the gall to come to our village, to slander our druid without evidence? And what's more, you even admit to being a traitor? Yes, well, I'm on your side now, Gaul. Let him finish his story, Asterix. It's true that Getafix has been a bit odd lately. You know, last week, he didn't even want to give me any magic potion. But he doesn't ever give you magic potion, Obelix. You fell in the cauldron when you was little, and that doesn't make our Getafix a traitor. You're not going to believe the first Roman that comes by. Why, Tutatis? He's gone! Just like the thief. I'm here, Gaul. You wanted evidence? I've got evidence. Getafix is golden sickle! Why, Tutatis? If Getafix was here, I'm sure he could give us an explanation of this whole story. But Belenos alone knows where he is now. He's in Las Vegum. What's that, Las Vegum? Las Vegum, located in the heart of Rome, a city of luxury and pleasure, is dedicated to the pursuit of sporting entertainment, for the greater happiness of Romans everywhere. Las Vegum is round-the-clock gladiator combat to the goriest death. It's skimpily clad slaves fed to hungry lions seven days a week. But Las Vegum is above all a unique welcome and a festival atmosphere every day of the week in a fairy tale setting. Cross the romantic hills of Letitia as if you were really there. Laugh out loud with the joyful antics of Pirate Island and spend an unforgettable night in the pure opulence of Caesar's Palace. Las Vegum, the Roman holiday you'll never forget. Soon. A Jules Caesar, Caesar production. A city for games? These Romans are crazy. Asterix, you and Obelix are going to Rome. It's the only way to discover why Getafix has betrayed us. To discover if he betrayed us by the statistics. Well, yes, that's what I was going to say. I'll come with you, Cole. Stay well away from us, Sam Shiva. This whole thing stinks of a trap. But we have no choice. Right, all, let's go, Obelix. To Anachronisms Ahoy, aka Asterix and Obelix XXL2 Mission Las Vegas. Um, oh, that's the one. So, Asterix and Obelix, uh, which I believe is correctly pronounced Asterix and Obelix, uh, 
is a French cartoon that uh, explores different periods of history, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm very unfamiliar with it myself. My friend has, has seen a couple of the cartoons. But uh, we're now playing this video game adaptation. What? It's Mario from <laughs> Mario Sunshine. Holy cow. All right, that's the jump button. Okay. Trying to, to understand the uh, controls here. You are watching Underplayed, by the way, where we catalog a variety of interesting games. Uh, <laughs> and uh, already we've seen quite a few video game references that I'm really surprised at. Uh, I, there's the very obvious nod to Splinter Cell with Sam Fisher being portrayed by the Sam Schieffer character. And that was pretty obviously Mario from Super Mario Sunshine. So I'm, I'm enjoying the, uh, the intertextuality, the references that we're seeing here so far. Looks like I need to grab those power-up bonuses before I collect all the helmets. But as of yet, there's not much of a tutorial level to speak of, so... Uh, oh, hey, cool, I can smash those to keep the helmets. Sweet! All the goodies! Yes! And a golden one over here. Must be worth something, right? But where's the music? I feel like a game this zany needs some, some zany music. Pack it up. Animations are fun. We have this cute little dog following us around. I'm not sure what, what his story is. Right. 